I was prepared for all the things that he's done, uh, which is like uh, flying on the helicopter, the first, the first helicopter to fly around in the world. But I wasn't prepared for this, and which was interesting because uh, I didn't even know. He got the Distinguished Flying Cross uh, in Vietnam. And on that mission, he actually, it was right before him and his group was supposed to leave Vietnam like the day before. Uh, just getting the story, the way that he told it, uh, was pretty amazing. Chief Master Sergeant Don A. Beasley, the sheer fact of uh, service before self, he's lived that his entire life. Working some of the NASA missions and then actually going through some of the interviews, Chief Beasley has probably impacted every pararescue person that is training today. The pararescue training when he went through, there's only maybe one or two people that actually even went through the pararescue training. He's also led some of those training facilities. You could almost say he's one of the pioneers for pararescue, for modern day pararescue that we have today. My dad was a former New York City paramedic where would train the pararescue guys that were supporting. And so after talking through some of that stuff uh, with my dad and then talking through with Chief Beasley, uh, it kind of struck a nerve of, uh, you know, as far as rescue is concerned and making sure that we have our search and rescues in place. His biggest takeaway was the te technology comes and goes, but leadership doesn't. And what you need to sit down and realize is you're going to be that person to make uh, that young enlisted folk believe in themselves, right? And so you give them a sense of purpose and they'll actually go do and you'll be surprised by it. And so that uh, was one of the big takeaways that I took as far as the leader is concerned, uh, along with uh, just the perseverance and the way that he, he ensured that his entire crew was, was good to go on every mission.